What's up, guys? So, oh, hold on. you guys are close. You guys are close. Like back up, back up. <laughs> okay, anyways, but this video, sorry, it's starting off weird. It's like I'm messing with this dang dermal. But this video is about my dermal. Today has been um, exactly three months since I've gotten my dermal, and um. I was gonna give you guys like a little ex my little experience on it. Uh, I don't know. Like, I think it started like two weeks ago. I think it's been like two weeks. Um, this like it started like forming like this thing, and I thought it was a keloid. Like, if you guys don't know what a keloid is, like Google it because I'm not gonna explain stuff. But basically, um, it's like a bump on your piercing. Um, so yeah, it was forming that, and I've, I've had a keloid before, but it was like on my ear piercing, like my, when I got my cartilage pierced when I was younger, um, and I had to have a surgery to get it removed, so I was just like, oh my gosh, like, I hope this isn't happening again, blah, 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 but literally, like, like I said, when it, I think it started growing like two weeks ago, and then last week. Not even last week, like a couple days ago. I just realized when I looked at it, like I don't think it's a keloid. I think my piercing is rejecting. And the bump that it is forming is literally like the back of the piercing poking out of my skin. If that makes sense. So it's like pulling my skin. Like the back of the piercing is pulling my skin so that it's like poking out of my skin. I don't know if that makes sense. So... That's what I'm doing like right now, trying to like push it in and hold it in. But um, it hasn't really been working. Um, but so it's like this big like bump on my piercing. Well, it looks like a big old bump on my piercing, and I hate it. Like it's so gross. Like I wear, sh like I try to wear shirts that cover my piercing now. Like I is so gross looking. Like I'm so upset about it. Um, and I don't want it to reject. Like, I see it's rejecting, but I don't want it to reject. Like, I want to keep this piercing. Like, I've wanted it for forever. Finally got it. And now it's like, oh, I don't want to be in your skin. So, it's a little annoying. It's a little upsetting. But, you know, what are you going to do? Um. So, yeah, like, right now, like I said, I'm, like, just pushing it in. Like, putting pressure on it. Trying to get it to stay in. But it hasn't been. Like, I should have been. Went back to my piercer. But she works further out from where she used to work now so it's like an hour drive for me so I'm like dreading like calling her and of course I know she's gonna be like you need to come see me and I'm just like I don't want to make that drive even though I know I have to but I'm gonna do it soon and I guess depending on how it goes I'll give you guys an update on that but I just want to let you guys know like how it's going um this piercing really has been giving me a lot of ups and down like I love it I get compliments on it all the time like but it's just so much like to do with like when I first got it done like you guys seen the video when I first got it done like literally a week later it fell out like literally fell all the way out and I put it back in myself and then um yeah just with it hurting when I first got it done like being sore and then now it's rejecting and it looks like a big old bump keloid or whatever that's on my chest and just so unappealing so i'm like this piercing is literally being me like so much trouble and like even though i love this piercing i wouldn't recommend anyone to get it only because of the problems i've been having even though even though i know everyone is different like i wouldn't want to say hey get this piercing just because it was giving me problems it might not give you problems like i would just say don't get this piercing because I know it gave me problems and it could give you problems too. And I don't want you guys to deal with that. You know what I mean? Like, since I've had to deal with it and I know it's aggravating, I wouldn't want you guys to be in the same boat and have to deal with it also. So, even though it's a beautiful piercing, I wouldn't recommend it for anyone to get it because it's just such a headache. And if I would have knew it was going to be like this, obviously, no matter how much I have wanted it, I wouldn't have got it in the first place. But, you know, what you're going to do. But I do know I'm not getting another one because I know in my last, or not last one, but like the, the one before that, I was like, I was thinking about like getting another one under it or like on top of it or whatever. 
But yeah, that's not gonna happen because this is way too much work. And I don't even know if this one's gonna stay. Um, you can't really see the bump because, yeah, this is not a good angle to see it. But it's basically a bump. I don't know if you guys can really see, but it's a, bit, a big old bump right here. And it's just so ugly. I wish you guys could see it. I'm going to try to get pictures of it or something for you guys to see it better. But yeah, I literally hate it so much. But um, yeah, that's basically about it for this video. It wasn't really much for me to talk about other than this thing that is forming on it. And the fact that it wants to come out of my skin. <sighs> but yeah. Uh, that was a short video, but like I said, I just want to give you guys an update on this piercing, just in case you guys are interested. But, um, on the other hand, my tongue piercing is doing wonderful, because I, I know you guys know, um, uh, love my tongue piercing videos, so. But I've had this piercing for forever now, so there's nothing for me to update you guys on. So if you guys want to see my tongue piercing videos, then just watch them i'll try to link them in the description if i can but if not they're on my channel just go back and find them um but yeah that's about it guys make sure you like comment and subscribe and i will see you guys in my next video